When the Equal Pay Act was signed into law by President Kennedy in 1963, women were earning an average of 53 cents on the dollar compared to men. Today, women hold nearly half of today's jobs but are still experiencing a gap in pay compared to men's wages for similar work, a gap that results in the loss of about $380,000 over a woman's career. For African American and Latina women, the pay gap is even greater. Hi, I'm Shiana, and these are my friends Casey, Alexa, and Nicole, and we are making a short documentary to tell you more about equal pay rights. I really don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, where people get equal pay in an act. We get paid equally for the same job. Workers getting equal pay, <laughs> men and women. All genders and races and everything getting equal pay. The Equal Pay Act is when men and women get paid for doing the same job. Uh, women have to be paid the same as men, right? Oh. Everybody gets equal pay? I, I don't know. Maybe just equal pay. People are being paid equally to do something. I assume it has to do with equal pay for um, depending on age and like when you started your job. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something where everybody gets paid equally. <laughs> the Equal Pay Act of 1963 is a United States federal law amending the Fair Labor Standards Act. It is aimed at abolishing wage disparity based on sex. The Equal Pay Act of 1963 requires employers to pay men and women equally for doing the same work. The jobs do not have to be identical, but they must be substantially equal. The Equal Pay Act of 1963 has never lived up to its promise to provide equal pay for equal work. Well, that makes me angry. That's not okay. Um, no, people who do the same job should get the same pay. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Um, so I think that's really unfair and I think we still have a long way to go. We are still working and still fighting, and someday we will have equal rights. Absolutely. If you're doing the same work, you should get the same salary. There's no question about it. Teaching, we have got an equal pay playing field. So I think the public sector has provided women that equal opportunity for a long time. I think in the private sector, they have a ways to go. It's definitely not fair. If we do the same work, we deserve the same amount of pay. I think it's complicated and needs to be looked at, but, but certainly for someone that's worked equal time and equal abilities, it should receive equal pay. That gender shouldn't be the issue at all. Today, women earn about 80 cents on the dollar compared to men, a gap that results in the loss of about $380,000 over a woman's career. That is enough money to send a kid to Harvard for six years, or enough to buy 10 Mercedes C-Class cars, or if you had a family of four for 36 years. That's a lot of money, and this needs to stop.